Hey guys, my name is Shannon. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Samsung wireless charger. But before we go ahead and get started, make sure to go ahead and subscribe and turn on post notifications to see exactly when I release a new video. But other than that, let's get started. So taking a look at the Samsung wireless charging pad that supports fast charging, the box you can see directly the Samsung fast charger and around it, it will say it's a Qi charger and it works with any brand of phone as long as it does have wireless charging. Now it does provide provide 9 watts of wireless charging so it really does depend on your phone. Now in the box it comes with an adaptive fast charging brick over here what does adapt for obviously the 9 watts so you will be guaranteed to get it. The next thing you do go ahead and get in the box is the actual micro USB cable what is pretty long what is great as long as you want to go ahead and wire it you have a good length of cable so you aren't tied down to a short amount of space like what some other wireless charging companies do do so then you don't have that flexibility but with this Samsung doesn't cut short on that. You also get the quick start guide what is practically useless it just tells you what the lights do and that's pretty easy to solve so that is really just place your device and you're all good to go. Now the next thing you do go ahead and get itself is the device now it has a nice little rubber padding to the top it says Samsung fast charge and it is a glass over it or some sort of like plastic really feels nice and premium. Uh, you will realize that this is a thicker wireless charger and you might be asking why and that's because other than it just being a normal wireless charger it does have a fan in it what does prevent it from overheating or your phone overheating with also the micro usb towards the back and Overall, that's why it's thick and it's definitely worth it if you are looking for a good wireless charger. Charging my S10 Plus over here, you can see absolutely no problem. It has 9 watts. The S10 Plus does wirelessly charge at a maximum of 15 watts, but it will still fast charge. So if you have the LG G8, you will be perfectly fine. And if you have the iPhone 10 and up, you will have 10 watts. So you will only be off by one watt. But if you have the S10 Plus and newer, you will have 15 watts. So you will be losing out on around six watts of fast charging, but that's not that bad. You can see over here, I'm trying to move my phone. It doesn't really move. It sticks very well, what is an amazing thing as if you don't want you to accidentally hit your phone and it go flying off your desk. And overall, it's the same thing for the actual device itself. You could try to move it and it won't move. And you could see that it does say fast wireless charging completely. It says the exact time it will take. Obviously, I am charging at 9 watts over here instead of 15. So you do have to understand that isn't actually how long it will take for your phone itself. Now this is definitely a great wireless charger, especially now it is definitely recommended for me as Samsung definitely did a great job at making this wireless charger. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you guys did like the video, make sure to go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe and turn on post notifications to see exactly when I release a new video. But other than that, hope you guys all have a great day and I'll see you guys in my next video.